In this video, we're going to look at expanding upon the previous video where we worked with the text blocks inside Visual Composer by introducing some of the graphical blocks that we can work with. Now, Visual Composer offers us a couple of different options, and we'll take a look at those over the next couple of videos and how they work and the various different settings that each one of them offers us when we create more complicated page layouts in our WordPress installation. So let's take a look at those first of all. So in the video on text blocks, we created this simple page. One simple row, one text block with an image floated up to the right hand side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this one stage further and we're going to take a look at how we can create multi-column layouts and how we can start introducing graphic elements into our page layouts. So the first thing we need to do is make space for our new graphical element. And we can do that in a couple of different ways. The simplest and quickest way is to just go to this little icon in the top left hand corner and choose the type of column layer that we want. Now you can see Visual Composer offers us a range, so half and half, one third, two thirds, and so on. So we're just going to take a simple layout and we're going to turn this into a two column layout. And what you find is when we do this, Visual Composer won't get rid of the text content that we already have in here. It'll actually just move that over to the one side for us and give us an empty column ready to start working. So let's click, and as you can see, our text block now is all in the left hand side. Now, for this example, I want to put that over to the right hand side. And one of the nice things is that we can show you how the drag and drop functionality works inside Visual Composer. To move this element, all we need to do is take our mouse over the text block. And you'll see we get a little context menu pop up or a little set of icons in green. And we could just grab the first one, click and hold down with the left mouse button and drag this to where we want to place it. And in this instance, we want to put that in the right hand block. There you go, and there's our new element, or our element moved over. So that's freed up the first column now, ready to start inputting some graphic information. So let's take a look at how we do that. As with everything in Visual Composer, all we need to do to add a new block or new element to our page is simply click on the plus icon, and that'll bring up the window that allows us to choose all the different types of icon, all the different types of building blocks that we've got available to us. Now you can see we've got a couple of different options available. We've got single image, image gallery, and image carousel. We're going to concentrate on this particular video on the single image option. But in the next two videos, we'll take a look at image galleries and image carousels and how they work and the differences between each of these three building blocks. So first of all, let's click and choose to put a single image in. So that'll bring up a window with a range of options available to us. By now, you should be familiar with a few of these different options like the Design Options tab that allows us to choose margins, borders, and padding, background images, background colors, and lots of other different options. Under the General tab, you'll see we've got things like the uh, animation options will become available to us. We've got extra class names in exactly the same fashion that we've got with quite a lot of the other building blocks we've got available in Visual Composer. But obviously, we've also got a range of options that are specific to this particular building block. First option we've got available is image, where we can add the image we want to work with. We can choose a specific size. We can choose the alignment of that image, and we can apply a couple of different styles to the image. We can choose to have this link to a larger image, and if we choose to do that, we can put the link for the larger image in there. And as I said, we've got the animations and the extra classes option available to us as well. We've also got a widget title option at the top. Now you'll see this available in quite a lot of the Visual Composer building blocks. And what this will do is it'll place the title that you give it above the particular building block that you're adding in there. You can use this if you want to. From a personal approach, I tend to find that I get more control if I use a text block or a title block. That way I can control the text, the size, and a lot of other functions without having to mess with the style sheets that are associated with our website and or Visual Composer. So let's start by adding an image into this particular option. If we click the plus icon, that'll bring up the typical image browser. And as you can see, we've got a couple of files uploaded. And I'm going to choose this one of Weymouth Harbour. I'm just going to say set the image. And that'll put the image into our building block. A line left is correct. That, that's working for me. But we've got the options of a line right or a line center. The image style, as you can see, we've got quite a lot of different options. We could round the edges off, we can put shadows, we can put 3D shadows. A whole host of different options are available to us. I'd recommend experimenting with these just to see what they look like and if they kind of fit into the style that you're trying to apply to your particular website. But for now, I'm just going to leave that as default. 
I'm not going to get to link to a larger image, so I don't need to fill in the options in there. I can just click Save Changes. And that's put our building block element in there with our image. So let's just update that page and we'll switch over to the front end of the website and see how that looks. Okay, so we're on the front end of our website now and I've got the Visual Composer page we just created loaded in. Unfortunately, with the theme that we've got available to us, this looks pretty poor, but we'll switch over to another theme in a, in a sort of future video and I'll show you how it'll look. But for now, you can see that we've got the information that we've got already set up for us. We've got the information from our text block over on the right-hand side and the image on the left-hand side. Now, you see what it's done is it's automatically created this thumbnail for us, which isn't necessarily what you always want. So what we can do is we can switch back in and set a few more parameters for this image that will control the look and the feel within our website. I'm back in the admin now of our website for our Visual Composer page, and I'm going to set a few more parameters for this image. First thing I want to do is give it a size. Now, I know that my image size is 640 by 322, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put that information in there, get rid of these extra spaces either side, so that's going to tell it exactly the size that I want to work with. I'm going to set this to be aligned to the center. And let's just take a look. We'll try, we'll put a rounded edge to our image. We'll save the changes. And another thing I want to do is I want to change the layout. I'm not really happy with the way this is looking on our design. So I'm going to make a couple of tweaks to this, this layout. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into two rows. So I'm just going to insert a new row. And I'm going to change this first row to be back to one single row. And as you can see, even though we've taken one of the rows, uh, one of the columns away from this row, it hasn't lost any of the information. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this text block. I'm going to drop it down to my second, second row. So I've got them each one in its own individual row. You don't need to do this. You can put multiple items into a single row or a column within a row. You can build it up as you see fit. But for this example, I'm just going to keep it simple and put each building block in its own row just for ease. So let's just update this page again and switch back over to the front end. And we'll take a look at what it looks like on the page now. OK, so you can see it's looking a little better. We've got our picture now filling a little bit more space on the design. We've got some slightly rounded corners. And then the information that we've got in our text block is sitting nicely below this image. So hopefully what you found with this is that it's very quick and easy to create more complicated layouts, to put images in, to automatically create thumbnails, to apply different shapes. We can apply animations to these. We can do a lot of really cool things with Visual Composer. It's a very quick and easy environment to work in. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out our new videos as we launch them. And until next time, take care.